I don't have kids, but if I did, I certainly would not be poisoning their minds with this nonsense. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some more nuts on your chin. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're ready for an awesome video. I am, so smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and remember, you can check out all the stuff down in the description down below for information on how you can check out my daily podcast, as well as swolenormousx.com for memberships to join the Swole Fam. Let's get right into today's video. This is about children, but it's about your kids. And I want your feedback because you are the one that probably has children or are thinking about having kids, or maybe you teach kids. You know what the fat acceptance and body positivity movements are doing to people, to real adult humans. Now, granted, a lot of humans today, a lot of adults are just grown up children that don't take any personal responsibility. So in our society, we have 75% of the population that's overweight and obese. Not good. People are dying left and right from preventable issues. But we here on the Swanormous channel, Fitness Without the Bullshit, we're trying to push back against that. We're trying not to sit around and just act like everything's all hunky-dory because people are dying and they always die and they always will and they always have. You're gonna die and I'm gonna die, but I'll tell you what, I am not going to be rushing to that finish line, okay? I want to live vibrantly while I can and I choose to eat properly and exercise and take care of my health. But of course, fat acceptance doesn't want to do that. They want to pretend like being obese is a positive thing, not just get away with it, but thrive, glorifying obesity. So now we're seeing, as per this picture, this is from a doctor, Colleen. This is her reading her child a fat positive book. So you see on the left picture, it says, some bodies are big, some bodies are small. For some reason, the body positive community, fat acceptance, they're referring to obesity as bodies, like just because I'm living in a bigger body. Stop trying to promote the patriarchy by getting people to be in a smaller body. Why are you trying to shrink my body? It's this weird language that no one uses. No one, no one ever says, I, I'm so tired of being in a larger body. No one talks like that. They're redefining, they're recreating words around this movement. It's ridiculous. It's insane. Lord, some bodies are big. I mean, some people are tall and some people are fat. Use the word, use the word. Don't be afraid of it. Life isn't gonna rub your little taint, sweet hat. Anyway, you see on the right, some bodies are short, some bodies are tall. Why can't we say people? Why do we have to say bodies? Some people are short, some people are tall. Some people are big, some people are small. We're disassociating fat and obesity and people. We're just using, we're calling people bodies now, as if you're renting, as if you're leasing your body. Let's read this uh, this caption here. On the days when the world feel, this is the worst part. The caption's usually worse than these woke pictures. Check this out. On the days when the world feels especially uncertain and scary. This is what we're preparing our kids for. We're preparing them to be coddled and protected in a world that's not uncertain and scary. This is life. Yo, yo, wake up, snap out of it. This is life. Life is uncertain and scary every day and has been and will be forever. It's uncertain and scary. I think we should start raising children that understand that life isn't a cakewalk and stop giving out eighth place trophies. I find solace in Ez, in EZ. I don't, I don't know what that is, if that's a typo. I don't know what that means. I find solace in thinking about how I will try my best to raise this tiny human, wait for it, to be a kind, anti-racist, fat-positive feminist. I find solace in thinking about how I will try my very best to raise this tiny human to be a kind, anti-racist, fat-positive feminist. I'm gonna leave that right there for all of you. Reading is one way that I am using to gently instill these messages gently. Be gentle, be gentle. Don't teach any hard hitting lessons of truth. I personally haven't found too many children's books that I believe promote a truly fat positive message about body diversity. But the body book by this jabbernet or jabroni, Roz, does just that. 
and I unequivocally recommend it. Sex is a funny word is also great for older kids. Ooh, the birds and the bees. Do you have any recommendations for fat positive children's and teen books? A truly fat positive message about body diversity. Okay. Humans are diverse in many ways, but we have to stop talking about diversity based on choice. If I choose to punch myself repeatedly in the face, does that make me diverse because I have bruises and a disfigured face because I smash my fist into it over and over again? Diversity, we need to talk about body positivity and diversity based on the things that we cannot change. If my eyes are a foot apart, I can't choose to squeeze them together. That's how I was born. If I have huge ears or a huge chin, or I can't grow a beard, or I have a pointier head or a flat head, or these are things you can't change. I mean, with surgery, I get it, but like you're born seven foot tall and you're born and you're five foot tall. You're not born morbidly obese. It's like we're changing lifestyle habits and lifestyle habitual outcomes, outcomes of lifestyle habits. And we're using that as, oh, well, I'm like this now. This is just how I am, accept me. This is perfect, this is wonderful because that's the way I am. No more eighth place trophies. No more. Enough. The problem is now we're spreading this nonsense and this poison into the next generation. This is why when someone asks me on the Daily Swole podcast, I'll put a link below. I go live every single day. Daily Swole podcast. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, everywhere, but you probably know already. Someone asked me, what do you think? Do you think we can ever reverse the obesity epidemic? Do you think we can ever change that? And I don't want to say never. I don't want to say never because it's like, then what am I doing here? What are we doing inside the Swole fam, right? What are we trying to accomplish here? So I don't want to say never, but it's going to take, what do you think? What do you, what do you think? Well, how long do you think it would take to change this? If we started today, 50, hundred years, it'll take multiple generations because these kids, these children that we're raising like freaking snowflakes, these are the ones that are going to have kids and then teach them and then teach them. We need to be all on the same page, but we're not because everyone's just acting like gaining 15 pounds or 20 pounds because of a the QAR 15 or the V, whatever you want to call it, but we're justifying obesity and we're gaining popularity. We have huge followings based around being obese. That's a lot of these fat acceptance people, that's their claim to fame. That's what they're popular for, for being fat and just so unabashedly out there, just so proud of their fatness. Wow, so honorable. Give me a break. Let's start putting some honor behind hard work. Let's start respecting and admiring people that work their ass off to achieve something that goes against the grain in society. Today, if you're in shape, the reason why people get fit shamed equally, if not more so than being fat shamed if you are healthy, people tend to look down upon it because they're jealous because it takes work. It takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of discipline to not just binge eat everything that you see. It takes discipline and priority and time management to go to the gym consistently enough to get results. And not only that, but to do the right stuff in the gym and to do the right stuff at home because you're only in the gym for an hour, a few days a week, maybe like five, six days a week. You're doing yoga. Sometimes you're active recovery. Maybe you train four or five days a week in a gym. You're training at home or whatever. You're doing active recovery in the other days. So five, five, six, seven hours a week you're training. What about the other, was it 160 hours in the week or 161 if you're doing an hour every day? Yeah, it's all your lifestyle. It's habits, 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 habits. But it's easier to change a hashtag than to change your habits and to change your lifestyle, right? Just change your hashtag and everyone has to love you just the way you are. But what are your thoughts, fam? Drop a comment down below. And remember, if you want to take advantage of this time in 2021 right now to take control of your health, your fitness, whether you have a gym or don't have a gym, you don't need a gym, you don't need a yoga studio. All you need is the Swole Fam and Swole Normous X. Check the links down below for the F Your Resolution special going on right now. It's awesome. The Swole Fam is the best and we have all the content that you need for your training. Covers all seven pillars. Learn more at SwoleNormousX.com. And remember, I go live every single day on the Daily Swole channel right here, The Daily Swole. You can also listen on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Go live with the Swole Fam every day. But until then, I will see you real soon for some more Salty Sack. Peace the fuck out. Stay woke, but y'all sleep. Real emo, but y'all sheep. Out in public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real freak. New throne for the new king. Same kid, now my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke, we in real emo. I said, stay woke, real emo. Stay woke, real emo. I said, stay woke, real emo. Stay woke, real emo. I said, stay woke, real emo. Stay woke, real emo. I said, stay woke, real emo. Stay woke, real emo. Some jokers, y'all a bunch of clowns You will not get a laugh out of me You can talk, but you can't denounce I live a different theology Why I transfer to a new account You just fucked over a prodigy Posted up with a rented crown You are the king of the apology You about to see a new side of me I hope you know We stand up and watch our enemy go Empire fall, my 
my legacy grows I might just hop out this melody flow All this vision, no clarity though Y'all play a game